Chattanooga civil rights leaders want to say so in who the city's next police chief will be. Channel 3's Joy Dukes joins us live with more on this story. Joy, good afternoon. Good evening to you, David. While the search for Ronnie's replacement is ongoing, the city has detailed some plans for a community-led advisory committee uh, to help and assist in making that decision. Uh, the Chattanooga branch of the NAACP is calling for a diverse group of community members to be a part of the final say. With a continued push nationwide for police accountability and a recent uptick in gun violence locally. There are... Uh, Pressing problems that we have in Chattanooga. NAACP President Ann Jones Pierre says Chattanooga's pick for its next police chief couldn't be any more important. And we have an opportunity at this point to work on uh, changing uh, the atmosphere and the concept of policing in Chattanooga. On Wednesday, the NAACP took the city's early plans for a community advisory committee a step further. So this mayor has a table full of things that need to be addressed. Calling for a diverse 11 member committee to assist in vetting potential candidates. You need people who have worked in community organizations, people who are in tune with what goes on in the community. The organization also specified having at least two community members who've had issues with city police be part of the committee. Issues being, you know, they've been arrested. Uh, because they would bring a different perspective. While announcements about the composition and selection of that community-led advisory committee are expected to come in the next few weeks, a spokesperson for Mayor Tim Kelly said in a statement released on Monday, the advisory committee will include community leaders who will help guide the search and ensure the city's next chief has a demonstrated commitment to civil rights, equity, and best practices. And that statement from the mayor's office uh, also said that candidates uh, who are from all over the place can apply. That includes those here locally in Chattanooga. That also includes current members of the Chattanooga police force. Uh, and Pierre said that they did not have a candidate in mind at this time to endorse, but they look forward to continuing conversations with city leaders about what they're looking for in the next police chief. We're now reporting live from home. Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.